two things for me coming out today our go live day um, particularly uh, I think we talked a lot this morning about how we make the country plan and the strategy a reality it's been really exciting talking to the staff about how we apply the plan how we apply the principles to our daily work um, that's the really hard bit a document on its own doesn't make any difference but if we're applying it to all our work then it's really going to change things Go Live Day itself has been fantastic, lots of energy, lots of excitement, um, really good. We've had some of the field teams here, everyone together for the first time. Um, I think that really captures the spirit of it and it's just been a really exciting, fun day. Hi, I'm Asunta Chas, uh, ACD Oxfam in Bangladesh. Um, today is a great event for us, the SMS Go Alive, and, and ha I'm ha extremely happy to be part of this event. Uh, and I always remember, like, Many people dream of success, but very few wake up and walk towards it. And I feel today as Oxfam, we are waking up and walking together to make success and greater impact to our beneficiaries. So great success and I'm happy. Hello, I'm Kobita Bosch, I'm the Associate County Director uh, for Oxfam Hong Kong in Bangladesh. Today we have gone live. We are very happy that finally we have gone live today. It's a long process for Oxfam in Bangladesh as well as the affiliates uh, who are working in Bangladesh, uh, particularly for Oxfam Hong Kong. Uh, we have been aiming for this today, uh, for these days, for long times. Uh, SMS uh, is a very good opportunity for us. It's an avenue from where we can learn. We can make uh, our program more cost effective. We can be part of a global network that is covering 94 countries in the world. Uh, we are very proud for this and uh, we hope that we'll make more, uh, more means for us. The SMS will really bring us that opportunity for the country program. Mr. Plan. I'm MB actor, program manager and member of country leadership team on behalf of Oxfam GB. Today we are celebrating Go Live along with Oxfam Australia, Oxfam Hong Kong, and Oxfam Nobi. And to celebrate these days, we had to wait for last two years. And we have gone through lots of different stages, ups and downs situation. The whole process of SMS was not very simple. We had to analyze the country situation, country contest, we to identify the potentials, challenges, organizational capacity. Also, where we have strength and weakness and our knowledge base. We also produce country strategy paper and the operating model for our future programming and management. Here I'd like to mention one thing, that Bangladesh is not is the most vulnerable and exposed country of impact of climate change and for that reason we need to address together with lots of stakeholders and as Oxfam families we are committed to address the issue of impact of climate change building the resilient community and ensure the food security of the people who are living in the most exposed and vulnerable just around the areas of Bangladesh. Apart from that, women who are living in Bangladesh, they are facing lots of challenges being women and also they are the first victim of poverty and suffering. Therefore, all the affiliates have been agreed to address those issues jointly. Those are our commitment for future. However, Today we have signed the agreement means our responsibility have been increased to achieve the bigger goal of Oxfam and uphold the image and credibility of Oxfam towards the state, our stakeholder, government and the civil society of Bangladesh. And I am fully confident that we can achieve this goal and objective together because we are committed to achieve this. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Tanya Kass and I am the Program Manager for Bangladesh and India for Oxfam Australia. I'm very excited and very happy that we have just gone live in Bangladesh on the 31st of January. And I've been involved with the CLT for the past two years, working through this SMS process 
to make this happen. So it's a very exciting moment and I know that this will build a greater Oxfam Bangladesh program and I wish the program and I wish Bangladesh all the very best for the future.